I've been able to follow people who have had no understanding whatsoever. You don't know what you don't know. And being able to help those people to know is so rewarding. Every side of the brain's gonna get a workout, but at the same time, you don't have to be a master A student in any subject to be part of agriculture. No matter what path you want to go down, if you've got passion and you've got drive, then you'll be able to go anywhere. And there's so many people in the sector that will help you. There's such a wealth of knowledge out there. My name's Olivia Weatherburn, and I'm a rural professional, rural advocate, and agripreneur from Mosburn and Southland. here with my husband William on the farm that he's stock manager for. So my day-to-day -day job is National Extension Program Manager for Beef and Lamb New Zealand. I get to play in a space I'm really passionate about which is people and training and ensuring that the next generation is able to understand the opportunities that there is for them as careers. Part of that has been designing the Generation Next program which is a program I describe as a technical program for practical people. They complete a six month course, which is three modules understanding different aspects of the farm. So we have uh, module one, understanding the farm business as a whole, module two, agri-tools and technology, and then meat appreciation. By the time they've been through the six month program, they will have a folder full of a whole lot of information that they'll be able to refer to well after they graduate. Can I go, Ross? Come on. The pathway I've ended up down since going to Lincoln has been a little different than I dreamed of. Unfortunately, when I was shepherding, I got taken out by a cow. I was, of course, a young, keen shepherd at that stage, didn't do anything about it when I got injured. It was 10 years later that that caught up on me. I couldn't do some of the physical lifting anymore. I had two choices, was either to find a job that was better on my body or give up horse riding. Nothing beats a gallop on a horse at the end of a hard day, no matter what profession you're in. So I went down the rural professional route. This way I get to live the best of both worlds. I get to be on farm here and help my husband out now and then. I'm one of those weird people who will jump at the chance to go and drench some lands or do some stock work. But at the same time, I get to help farmers on a day-to-day -day basis by delivering them the information that they need. It's a real kick being able to see farmers grow and thrive and that next generation coming through as well. I've really enjoyed that side of it. I grew up wanting to be a high country sheep station owner. I worked on one, that's about as close as I got. We've come to the conclusion that even with like lease prices and that, that we're not going to get the opportunity to be able to buy into a property or be able to live comfortably and still have a life. But we can still be involved and still farm in other ways. Will is a stock manager, he's able to learn on the job and be involved in a pretty cool business and there's a lot of opportunities out there like that. So we set goals that are realistic but are still challenging for us at the same time. There's so many different ways within even a job that you can go within the sector. I suppose that's why I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs>